morning all. It's going to be another hot one. So if everything goes according to plan today, we will be putting the new pump in so that we can get our hay field irrigated. It's looking a little dry on the other end. And maybe get some water on some of these pastures. So we got the fence done last night and got the sheep into the slough. And apparently the grass is tall enough you can't even see the sheep right now. So we got the fence up on this side, right through here, down to the cattails. And then we brought it over through here on the other side. They won't, they don't really like getting their feet wet, so they aren't gonna go through that wet spot. So we put them out here last night, uh, just before dark. And yesterday being the fourth, we had fireworks right over here at the lake, across the road at the neighbors, basically all around us. And sheep don't even care. At least my sheep don't. Um, they never, they basically just sat and ate all night long. Made lots of circles, getting away from the gnats, but they, uh, they're they so used to all the noise. Because of the lake, we have all the boaters out, so they're used to hearing lots of kids screaming and boats making noise, and nothing bothers my sheep. So I am lucky in that aspect. I know there are people that their sheep absolutely go crazy. Um, I've heard of people having their sheep die because of the stress of the fireworks. So my heart goes out to them, but I am really grateful that I do not have any of those issues with my sheep because they are so acclimated to just noise all the time. Um, so yeah, no lambs today. Uh, shouldn't have any until I look check my book shouldn't have any lambs until the 8th That's the next date For lambing for these that got bred in in February so But today is all about the pump So that's where we're headed next I'm not really sure what it is.
think, Ned? Should we go see your sheep? Now that we locked everybody in, you gotta get locked in with him. He likes to stay here and watch the babies. But that's what we have her. And him for. So he has to go out back with the rest of the flock. He's not impressed. Easiest way to get him out back. Because, not that he can't jump down, but I could, but I can pick him up. I know, but much. if he jumps down, there's a good chance he's gonna bolt right back to right. the barn because he I doesn't just, realize on, the on, sheep are hold here. On, hold on, dude. Come on. Come on. I know. I got it. Thank you. Oh, you're okay, Ned. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Hey, 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 Ned. Oh, good grief. Come here. You want to eat? Watch out. You want to eat? He says hell, though. Oh, he'll come in. There you go. Now you're with your sheep. Yep, and here they come. No, actually, they're not coming. Yeah, you'll find them. There's a few out. Not all of them. Well, out eat, out eating. No, they're not out, out. Well, actually, there's quite a few over here. Sun's like glaring. You can't see anything. There's a few sheep. And there's some more sheep. And he'll be happy. Cause he'll have found, he'll find his sheep. So yeah, quite a few out eating. Uh. That's good. There is oodles and oodles of feed for these guys. Uh. Definitely will keep them for a while. But yeah, it looked There's like two in the tree trying to fly. And then you think there's one on the ground? Well, I kept seeing something black on the, that log and it looked like it was moving. But I don't know. So two up here. Yeah, I don't see anything on the ground. Just the two flap. Well, they aren't flapping anymore, but they were. One, he's just sitting on the edge of the nest. You see his little head poking up right up there. I think the other one, oh, there he goes, flapping his wings there. So eventually, though, fly, fly, get fly it figured away. out. I hope he falls out and lands on his little freaking head. No, we do not. <laughs> Come on. Well, yeah, we're this deep into it. They just will survive now. It's to the point where I'm so over it. I still think they're cool. I still love having them here. Oh, yeah. Little how... turkeys better just learn how to fly and go away. Because how many people can say that they've got a pair of baby bald eagles and a pair of mom and dads yep. living on their place. They are trying though. They've been stretching and flapping for a few days. Let me pull up just a little bit. You know, when you look at them and they seem like small, but you gotta remember that nest is about the size of my pickup. So they're not tiny. Yeah, they might be young, but they're not they're not little. I mean, I'll bet they're dachshund size. Oh no, they're bigger than that. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet they're 24 inches tall at least right now. Well, maybe. Now they're just gonna sit and stare at us. Probably.
No, he's going to get a run at the edge again. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. I think I'll just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> well, look at him hop, though. Oh, yeah. he's. I mean, he's definitely trying. Oh. Come on, baby. I don't see mom or dad. Uh -uh. So they're either hunting or yeah. they basically said, kids, you're on your own. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, neither, I don't know how eagles work. Neither, <laughs> neither adult is around nope. tonight. Huh. This makes me so happy. Look, look, look. The bunks. They're gone. That means this whole area from over here where the gate is on this side of the horses all the way down to there all the way across get rid of all these panels all the way across to here and all the way back up here this is going to be my new breeding pens my husband swears he has it figured out what that means I have no clue but I told him that not only do I need to have breeding pens, that we also need alleyways to bring the sheep in from over here. So they come out back into the alleyway over here and then I need to get them into here. So he says he has it figured out. We'll see. But the bunks are gone and that makes me happy because now I can start getting stuff kind of figured out. And hopefully they'll come for the other bunks that are over here, over there. They're over there somewhere. It's a good day. Guess what we got? Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. Hi, Mama. Yeah, you got us a little boy. A big boy. He's a big boy. So, yeah, that leaves us down with two. We are down to just two. She's going to have a baby, but she's like, I think, at least another week out if not two and then this one right here who you can't see she keeps hiding so she is technically due on the 10th which would be tomorrow so hopefully those two will have their lambs but i've got to get the boys out i've got one here one here one there those two him that might be it hi sturgeon hey yeah hmm. yeah you good boy huh you my good boy Oh, is that the right spot? That's a good spot, huh? So, don't know if you can see very well. This is my ewe that had the broken leg. I don't know if I did any update on her. We ended up having to, she's still not really all that great still kind of skinny she is walking on her leg um, it's got an issue up here we think maybe it had gotten broke up there too and we just didn't realize it but shoot she's walking on it yes I know you are so can we not now you're just being rude now you're just being rude. 
Thank you. So she, uh, but she's walking on it. Seems to be doing quite a bit better. Um, like I said, you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a kind of funky twist in it. But she's walking on it. And now it's just a matter of getting some weight on her. I don't know that we'll ever breed her again. She might just become a babysitter for these lambs. But she's alive. And in my world, that's a win. Hi, babies. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Hey.